Okay, hi there, it's Clive here and today I have uh, an unboxing to do and we're going to be unboxing the Google Home Mini. So this is um, Google's personal assistant in mini form. So uh, a year or so ago they bought out uh, the Google Home and this is the Google Home Mini, much smaller version um, and cheaper. Um, and therefore I think it sort of makes it more accessible so you can uh, buy this because uh, it's not as expensive as the main Google Home and maybe put a few of them around your house which is what I'm intending to do is to put a few around so this is the first one uh, I bought and we're going to try it out now I've been using Google Assistant on my phone to sort of um, test it out and it works quite well um, and I've got some a smart plug so I can control some of the uh, some of the lights in the house um, I've got a Chromecast so I can cast things to the television I can switch the television off using Google Assistant so I know that uh, it, it sort of works quite well so now I've got this uh, so I can sort of place it around the house and uh, and see what happens so let's let's unbox this um, and see what we get Okay, so it's a, a bit smaller than I thought uh, in terms of um, the box, but uh, small and petite, small and petite is what the uh, is what it's all about. Here we are, open here. I've got the chalk, comes in three different colours, sort of a dark grey, um, a reddish pinky colour, um, and this chalk one, so I've got the chalk one. Uh, and there we are. Here is the little Google Mini. Look at that, isn't it cute? So you can put that anywhere around the house. You know, it looks quite nice. It's a sort of nice, straightforward, not, you know, quiet, little peaceful design there that you could just sort of plonk somewhere. So I'm gonna probably plonk this one in the living room. I might try it in a few different spaces. I might try it in my sort of kitchen uh, or in the main living room. They're sort of connected anyway. Uh, but we'll see. But there we are. That's what you get. That's your Google Home Mini. That's my phone. Um, and then what else do you get in here? Let's take that out. Get a little starter pack. Really, not really need much. Um, and they are just, look, they are just leaflets. Get started. It really is super simple. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, basically, plug it in download the app. That's about it, follow the instructions. Um, a little get to know your home mini. This talks about some of the controls and stuff that you're going to be, uh, that it features. But really that's that's it and it'd be safe online, you know, service and warranty. I mean it's not, there's not a lot of instructions here because you're not going to need them because they, you download the app and you probably just follow it through. And then um, here comes the plug. Now check this out for a plug. Look at that. Look at that lovely round plug. Um, and then this lead, which looks reasonably uh, long. I'd say, oh yeah, I'd say just over a meter, I'd say. I mean, if you want, do you want me to measure it? Oh, he's so fussy, so fussy. Let's have a look. Let's measure it approximately. I lie, it's not more me, so mine. It's more like, I'd say about 1.5, 160 centimetres. So, um, that's a meter, that's a meter. Yeah, well, that's a metre. And then you've got that, haven't you? So there we are. Yeah, so about, I'd say about 160 centimetres long, so a reasonably long lead. And uh, uh, that's it, really. That's all you get. So um, what you need to do is you need to download the app, the Home app, which I've already downloaded because I've been using, I use Chromecast. Um, and as so I've been using Google Assistant on my phone, so it works quite well. So, for instance, tell me a joke. I love the Guggenheim Museum, but I wish the architect hadn't cut so many corners. Hilarious. Um, 
so I already use Google Assistant on, on my phone, but uh, the beauty of it is not having to sort of say, you know, press the, the home button and it's not quite as, it doesn't pick up the voice quite as well on, on the phone. So hopefully this is a big in, improvement. So I've already say I've already downloaded the app. So let's uh, let's set it up, uh, plug it in, um, and see what happens. Might mean uh, I move to a different location. Okay, I've moved it to its desired location. So let's just plug it in. Um, little mini USB slot. Plug it in. Oh, there we are. You see the dots appear? So we plug it in. I'm going to open the, open the, um, the home app. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Done that. Let's open it up. Home, there we are. Device found. Device found, okay. Set up. Would you like to set this device up? Yes, please. Oh, might get disconnect while it's setting up, okay. So that's sorting itself out. Take a few minutes, a mo. Yes, I heard that sound, we all heard that sound. Uh, it is in the, so you've got a choice of rooms. It says, where is this device? Um, where is this device? And you've got a choice of rooms. Loads of rooms, cellar, den. Okay, entryway, family room, garage, hallway, kitchen, loft, shared. Uh, in this case, it is the living room. Connecting, so it's connecting to the hub. Use Wi-Fi to future, yeah, next, okay. It's connecting. So that's connecting to my hub. Just so I've got the smart devices as well. I've also got a Nest thermostat, which I can control with Google Assistant. So I'll be able to sort of say, okay, Google, turn the temperature up or turn it down, and that works as well. Okay, set up Google Assistant. Okay, so we've got uh, services and privacy, guests and your assistant. We'll do the guests later. Um, so... I've got, uh, so my kids, I'll get my kids to use their voice and stuff like that, but for now, uh, okay, let's go to next. If you've already got Google Assistant on your phone, which you may well have, you might not even realize you have, it's well worth setting things up on that, and then hopefully, uh, when you come to set up the Google Home, um, it's, you've already done a lot of the hard work. Otherwise you have to sort of start from scratch, which is all right. Anyway, so your assistant will use your voice to access your personal results. Can't, yes, 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 yes. A similar voice recording might be able to access this. So yes, if somebody records you saying, access my details, obviously if there's some sort of super spy, but yes, I'm in anyway. I'm in. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey Google. That's okay. It's recognised my voice now. It's sort of sorting out personal results on this device when it recognises my voice. As I say, you can set up other people's voice, so it links to their sort of Gmail account details, as I understand it. So I'll do that with my uh, kids, so that they can use it as well. Should be ready soon. Look, see the little lights glowing. Oh, multicolored lights there. I think a lot of people have bashed this speaker, but it's quite nice and sort of 
clear and bassy. I mean, it's not, you know, amazing, but it's not quite as bad as people have been saying. But I haven't got it for speaker. I've got my speakers set up with my Chromecast, so I'm not using it. I'm not going to be using this to play music on this speaker. I'm going to be using this to send music to my main speaker. Right, you're ready to go. Your assistant now reckon you recognise your voice. Teach your assistant to recognise your voice. Oh, I've done that. Okay. Whoop. Okay, so uh, street address is not quite right, is it? 21, yes. Um, music services, so I've got Spotify and Google Music and Google Play, mostly Google Play. When you ask it to play music, which one's it going to, you can choose which service you want it. Now I like it to play Google Play Music. Um, usual, so what I want them to do is Use your voice control your TV or speakers by linking them to your assistant. So I don't want them Google uh, living room speakers. What I want them to do is actually the living room TV because that's where my speakers are. Hi, I'm your Google assistant. Oh, that's loud. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Okay. So you can do music, play some music, set the volume to seven, stop, get answers, all these kind of stuff. So we've sort of seen it. And we're going to finish finish it up. There's a few instruction things that you can do. We'll finish up now. So let's try it. I'm going to put the telly on a minute. Okay, Google. Play some punk rock music on my living room TV. Okay, here's a Google Play music radio mix based on the rock punk pop playlist. Playing on living room TV. Okay, so this Google Assistant is not connected to my living room TV, which is a bit annoying. Whereas this Google Assistant is. Hey Google, tell us a joke. Hey Google, tell us a joke. Okay, here you go. I'll tell you what I love doing more than anything. Trying to pack myself in a small suitcase. I can hardly contain myself. Hilarious. Now I've also set it up to, to some shortcuts, so if I say uh, good morning, so... Okay Google, good morning. Hey Clive, the time is 8.59am. Currently in Kentbury it's 11 degrees with showers. It'll be raining there today with a forecast high of 13 and a low of 11. Have a nice day, here's the latest news. From headlines from BBC News, at 8.07am today. Well, the Theresa May has urged EU leaders to help her strike a deal on Brexit that she can defend at home. There's a warning that millions of mobile phone users are paying too much towards their handsets and pulled from the ocean's depths the letter which survived the sinking of the Titanic. So you can lower the volume by Theresa tapping May on this side. Told EU leaders or... she needs to reach a Brexit deal she can defend to voters in a private speech over Okay, Google, stop. So, um, there you go. So... I'd set that up so that I say good morning to hey you know good morning to Google in the morning and it tells me you know the weather uh, you know what the time is and plays the news for me so that's sort of ideal if especially if I'm going to put one in the bedroom that's ideal for that um, I'm going to have a fiddle about so I can get this set up on this so that it plays music on the um, on the speakers I want it to and not the ones it were tried to play earlier. But as you see, look, you can do lots of that. You can just ask it, you know, um, questions, you know. Uh, okay, Google, uh, what's the world population? According to Wikipedia, in demographics, the world population is the total number of humans currently living. 
The world population was estimated to have reached 7.6 billion as of October 2017. The United Nations estimates okay, Google, it will stop. further in Okay, Google, what's the weather like today? Today in Kentbury it'll be raining, with a forecast high of 13 and a low of 11. Right now it's 11 with showers. So there you go. So you can do lots of things. I'll have a little play, but there we are. It's a lovely little thing. It's going to sit um, here. Don't know what I did there, but anyway. No, oh, it's the volume, isn't it? So it's going to sit nicely there um, next to little Ray uh, and my pot plant. Um, and then, as I say, we'll get it up so that it can play some music onto the, uh, the right speakers. Uh, at the moment it's looking for the audio Chromecast, uh, which I don't want to do. I want it to look for the, um, the main Chromecast because I play my music through my TV, which is plugged into my sound system. Um, but anyway, we'll get that, get that bit sorted and uh, we're good to go. Okay, so um, let's, I've got the TV on there, as it were, um, and it's all set up so we can, uh, we can do this now, so I think I didn't, I think I didn't ask the right thing. Okay, Google, play some punk on my living room TV. Sure, here's a Google Play Music Radio mix based on the Get Lucky Daft Punk playlist. Playing on living room TV. Right, that's not punk, but I think I think you thought daft punk. Okay, Google, stop. Okay, Google, play some punk rock on my living room TV. All right, here's a Google Play Music radio mix based on the rock punk pop playlist. Playing on living room TV. <laughs> Okay, Google, stop. But for me, just another day. So some people ask me, I've got to got say, about the music. They seem to know my name. We laugh. You know, it's a lot better than people saying. It's a lot better than playing out your phone, like a lot of people say. But there you go, let's... I know I can't hide from a memory Though day after day I've tried I keep saying she'll be back It's not, it's not terrible, if you're an audiophile it's terrible, right? But for background music, it's perfect I do, especially in the bedroom or something Anyway, I forgot to add the, this bit anyway to listen to the music So there you go, I hope you can hear me talking over it So I hope that's sort of shown you a nice little uh, unboxing and it's giving you some. Oh, yeah, we'll do the temperature. Hey Google, raise the temperature. Sure, warming the living room up. See how the the nest went up. Okay, Google, lower the temperature. In Kentbury, it's currently eleven degrees. Okay, Google, lower my temperature. Sure, cooling down the living room. See, so, uh, and now I've got some lights upstairs that will, will switch on if I say, um, okay, Google, switch on the, I'm not going to say it now. <laughs> switch on the bedroom light, it switches on the bedroom light, which is my kid's room, so I can switch it off when he's, uh, he likes to go to bed with the light on, and then uh, we can switch it off when he's fast asleep. When I'm down here, I can just set, tell it to switch the light off. So anyway, there you go, a few things. Um, we'll try it, live with it for a while and see what happens. And then if I'm really liking it, I'm going to get another one for upstairs for the bedroom. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, any comments. Uh, it's a bit rushed and garbled, but you know, there we go. Uh, that's me live setting it up as we go. Cheers.